I'm too old for this shit. I don't want to compete with all these ridiculously hot women. I don't want to chase boys that aren't chasing me. I'm bored of filtering through wanker after wanker. Average man after average man. I just don't have the energy for it anymore. So I've decided I'm just going to be single and have loads of cats and maybe a dog. And I'm just going to keep surrounding myself with loads of awesome fucking cool women. Which is way more fun than dating boys. And if one day I decide I want a baby, I'll just go to a sperm bank. And move in with my best friend Lucy. And we can have babies together. Because we're both nannies and we're really good at looking after kids. So screw men. I guess what I'm trying to say is, just go live your life girls. Life is too short to be wasting it. Talking to shit men in weird bars. You're fine on your own. Now go enjoy being single. Peace and love. Wow, this woman has smashed head first into the wall and totally gave up on dating. She knows there's no hope left. She's tired of not being pursued by men, does not want to chase men, tired of competing with younger and more attractive women, wants to buy cats and dogs, and is planning to go to a sperm bank to get some children. This is the epitome of hitting the wall. If this is not one of the best examples of reaching breaking point and smashing into the wall, I don't know what is. Neither do I. I'm fucking over it. I'm fucking over it. I'm fucking over it. I'm over, 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 over. Don't you? Men. I just want to be taken seriously. I'm not a fucking piece of meat. Where's the where's the bare minimum? Where's the bare minimum with the respect? When I tell you, I'm fucking ready to just quit. Dogs, dogs. Dogs, that's it. She's literally having a meltdown because she keeps dating the top 5% of men and none of them respect her because they have so many options. She said she's tired of getting treated like a piece of meat and wants to quit dating. She also said she wants to be taken seriously. Who is going to take her seriously when she's acting like a complete spanner in the middle of her kitchen? Here's some advice for you honey. Change some of the preferences you look for in men. Change your height preference, job, racial preference, physical build or even hair colour preference. Just do something different. If you are not willing to explore outside of your general dating preferences, because they clearly don't work for you, just give up and buy a dog. Hopefully it's nothing to do with your personality. I bet it is. <laughs> what is your plan B if nobody marries you? There's no plan B, it's plan A. There's nothing wrong with being unmarried, happy and independent. So she's been told it's really good to be happy and independent. That's what new wave feminism tells women. But does she honestly look happy? Well, somebody asked her that exact question. Let's see how she answered. A few moments later. A lot of you have pointed this out and the truth is you're right. I've just been alone for so long that I just kind of accepted that that's the way it would always be. And I just tried to be happy alone, even though a lot of the time I'm not. So as we can see, the truth actually came out. Many of these women are just putting on a front, pretending they are happy, being alone, strong and independent. When the truth is, they are not happy at all. It's truly sad what these social justice movements have instilled into modern women. They've been alienated against having a happy home, husband, and family. It's truly sad. Yeah, it's a shame. Yeah.